There's a trial that pits two Milwaukee police officers against a local gun shop. They claim that shop sold the gun that was used to shoot them. Our TMJ4's Veronica Macias has been covering this case. She is live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse. Veronica. Steve Carroll, witness testimony started today. The first to take the stand was a former Badger Guns employee who sold the gun to the straw buyer. That's someone who buys the gun, then gives it to someone else that's not allowed to have one. In this case, an 18-year-old with a criminal record that then went on to shoot two Milwaukee police officers. David Flores started working for Badger Outdoors in 2007. Only if something seems suspicious. While Flora had the authority to stop the sale, he says he doesn't have any memory of it. Even after watching this 40-minute video where Flora is seen selling the gun to straw buyer Jacob Collins, he has no recollection of that sale in May of 2009. However, at one point after seeing the sale, things he said did look odd. The last thing we want to do is put a gun in somebody's hands that has, that's going to commit a crime. Well, the defense has argued that warning signs of don't lie for the other guy were impossible to miss in the store. The plaintiffs argue that Badger gun owners never properly trained employees on how to catch signs of a straw buy. One of the buyers left the store, went to the parking lot, and came back in with more cash. And that was a sign of a straw buy. Yes, I did. Flora also admitted knowing that customers leaving and then coming back in was a sign of someone who was actually buying the gun for someone else, which also happened in this case. Now, today, Flora said he wasn't given commission when he worked at the store. Instead, he said he was paid at first with credit for the weapons there. In 2005, according to the ATF, Badger Guns sold nearly 600 guns that were used in crimes. Reporting live from the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Okay, Veronica, thank you very much.